Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another episode of the Aberdeen Career Mode. Today we are going up against Rangers once again. Um, we're going to be playing the same lineup that we ended last episode with. The only change I'm going to make is a keep... Actually, I say that deserves to play. He made some pretty incredible saves last game. So we're going to go with the same lineup. Again, last episode, we brought in a lot of transfers. Um, this whole transfer window has been pretty great. I mean, we brought in Tito Bialba. Uh, Julian Gressel is going to be joining at the start of next season. Ivan Tony joined. Um, who has 90 jumping ability. We're going to work on his finishing as well. Um, and then, whatchamacallit, uh, we brought in Johnston from Celtic, which is a great steal. Um, great option for us at left mid. And then we brought in Miles Robinson and Florentine Pogba. Um, and then, I think that's it, right? Or do we make one more signing? That might be it. But great window, regardless. Tito Vialba. Love to see him. He already has two goals for the squad, I think. Well, let's go ahead and hop into this match. Again, Rangers, huge game. Got to win this game. Really just for morale purposes. I was looking at our goals for the season. The board just wanted us to achieve a high place, a high position in the table. So we don't really need top four. I would like top four. I'm setting myself the goal of top four. But I think as long as we get like top five, we should be fine. And the board will be happy. Maybe like a 92 rating right now for uh, for um, our manager rating. So, Jesus, this boy's running through our whole team. Good Lord. Boy, was sprinting. Hey, get back here. What the heck? All right. Carlton on the ball. Carlton's been getting better in training. Must say, he's been growing like crazy. Which, of course, we get an A on all of our training, so it does help grow a lot. A lot, a lot. Ojo, no. Did, did anybody just watch him step out of the way? Run that back? Boy literally just moved. He just moved. Who was that, Ferguson or was that Ojo? Bleh. Well, this match against Rangers might not be going as well as the last time we played them. Or the time before that. Haven't we played them three times? You play every team in the Scottish Prem three times, right? We are getting annihilated. This is about to be 8-0 all over again, but we're playing on ultimate difficulty. Or, um, legendary difficulty, not ultimate. Which, if you guys have missed the last couple episodes, the reason we are playing on legendary difficulty, even though we started on ultimate, is because FIFA pushed an update to PC as of today, or as of last week, actually. Um, that has not come to console yet, that has increased the difficulty of ultimate. Um, but really all he did was slow you down, make your passing worse, and then let the defenders cut passing lanes better. Um, so it's really just an overall disaster. Like you literally have to make sure it's pinpoint perfect passing, but you get no assistance at the same time. So I don't really know what the purpose of it was, but I'm not a fan. Damn it, Johnston, where are you going, bud? Johnston. Bro, they are choking me out. Johnston, let's go, baby. Never fails. FIFA never fails. FIFA's undefeated with some with some bull squeeze every game, man. Every episode, something something stupid's gonna happen. And this time we've conceded two goals in like 20 minutes, and then we hit both posts with one shot. Johnston still has not gotten his goal for the club. Oh my god! What is happening? I know we're playing away from home, but good lord, can I get one call, please? Oh no. Kenna, down to. That was supposed to go to Carlson! 
I can't even first time pass right now, man. Is this the legendary difficulty increase? Which I, I can't. It's Rangers, you can't complain. We're a sixth place team, they're in second. Um, oh God. Now we're three nil down. This is fun. I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? Do you enjoy the Aberdeen career mode? Let me know in the comment section down below. Somebody give me some positive feedback on the Aberdeen career mode because clearly I freaking need it. Because I am hot trash. Just pure garbage. Pure garbage. You got that, Tito? Horrible cross from Tito. He's not known for his crossing whatsoever. 3-0 to Rangers. You absolutely hate to see it. 3-0 to Rangers. We could have done so much better in this game. Couple mistakes here and there. Bad defensive play there. Jermaine Defoe, wide open. Wide open. I say that did not play great. Tito did not play great. We only had three shots. They had 13. We had zero on target. They had 11. So maybe, you know, you could say Kaiseda actually played pretty well because we could have lost that game 11 to zero. But he saved us. If you want to look at it that way. Uh, we're going to keep building up Tony. Martin is now 71 rated. I may give him a run. I'm going to work on a couple other different stats with uh, Martin first, and then we'll start him. Uh, Carlton starting to get up there is ball control 70, 77 dribbling, 72 stamina, 73 sprint speed. Um, we'll start rotating the players that we are training here in the next uh, training session, I guess. Currently, we drop down into seventh. We're under Motherwell now. Um, so you hate to see that. We're now, I guess, technically in the bottom half of the table which is bad. We are five points away from fifth, seven points away from fourth. It's not good, not good at all. I'm gonna check out this monthly scouting and then we'll go ahead and hop into the next game. Probably the same lineup, so I'm probably not even gonna show you guys the lineup before the game, but let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, so hopping into the match, against St. Johnston. Again, we need wins ASAP. That last loss put us down into seventh place. Um, we need to at least be in the top half of the table by the end of the season. Um, I personally would like to try to push for fourth. Um, that's becoming a little less likely every time. Oh, I should have taken the extra touch. I thought he could bang that one home though. Tony's back at starting. Same lineup as the Rangers game. We're not going to put too much thought into the fact that that game went so poorly. Oh, God. Johnston is kind of pissing me off, though. I just need a little bit better ball control. He's really good at winning tackles. I will say that. Oh, my God. Legendary trying to skill on me. I don't like it. I do want to bring in a left back next season, I can tell you that much. I think even if we don't get top half, um, we would stay in our job. I don't think we would get fired. Maybe. Carlton. Tony. Down to Viner. Up to Ferguson. Get that to Lee. Lee's going to cross that in. Back post. Too far. Out of bounds. Goal kick. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Also, I should state that as of recording this, the official posting went out that we have officially sold Julian Gressel to DC United. That is a pretty impressive disaster we have managed to uh, succumb. We have now lost Nagby to um, Columbus. 
We've lost Julian Gressel to DC United. Yumil Saad is also a DC United. Chris McCann, actually I don't think plays for DC United anymore. But um, I think so, somebody else plays there too. One of like our younger players play there. But whatever, that's fine. And then um, sold Brandon Vasquez. Let's go Tito. Let's go Tito, way to get the goal. Sold Brandon Vasquez to FC Cincy. Um, so, you know, LGP is gone. We managed to strengthen almost every opponent we could possibly have this season. I just really hope we don't play Tijuana in the um, in the Champions League. I don't need that in my life. Oh, Tony, nice try. I couldn't quite figure out if I had that angle. I didn't think I did. Back down to Ojo. Oh, yeah, I think Tony was off anyways. No! Ah, 45th minute. It's just moments like that, because of the way they've been playing all game, you really wonder, would Stevie May have scored that goal if it was literally any other minute in the game other than 45th and 90th minute? Because I really don't know what the potential of Stevie May scoring that goal would have been. But he did. 45th minute, right at the end of halftime. Gotta love it. Ooh, you gotta love it. 1-1, one, one, going into the second half. We're gonna see what we can do. And hope for the best. But I'm less than hopeful currently. The high that I got from signing our new players and then winning that game 3-1 have officially completely degraded at this point. Um, now 2-1 against St. Johnston. Tony, thank the lord it came off the right side of the post 2-2 two, two. not gonna get excited because we should be winning this game i genuinely think we should win every game bar celtic and rangers but even those games we should do better than how we did this episode I say that took so long to get there, but inevitably that was my fault. I pulled him way too far. It was a good cross. It was a good goal. It's 3-2. We're going to lose. I'm not happy. Definitely the last episode of Aberdeen I'm recording today. We'll try again maybe tomorrow, but I'm sick of it. Literally sick of it, dog. Tony, there's nobody available in the middle. Nobody was making a run. Not a single movement was just made right there. Game. 3-2 to St. Johnston. If they want to score a fourth goal, honestly, they can. I'm not even going to control the... I'm not going to control the controller. Because we're four minutes into added time. And somehow the game's still going on. I'm not a fan of this current build of FIFA. Um, I could have complained a lot this this year in terms of FIFA, but really this is the only update that's really bugged me. Um, even like the broken lineups were kind of annoying, and I did complain about those quite a bit, but like I dealt with it. This one though, not a fan. I could go without this, this, uh, this build of FIFA for a while. 
We do have the Scottish Cup for the second half of the season. Hopefully we can win that. I don't even know if the... Do they even want me to do anything? They want me to reach the quarterfinal for that. How do I have 27 million in my current funds? No, I don't. This game's so... Wait, yeah, I do. Why is my wage budget so high? I had $26 million in the window from what? Who did I get money from? Who was making that much money? That's like a million dollars for wage budget that I just got. When did that happen? Bro, I had $27 million I could have spent. I'm gonna probably spend money before the end of this season, just because I only need to hold on to 3 million of it. So I may as well sign players before the next window opens anyways. Um, probably a lot of people on contract expiry, if I'm being honest. But anyways, that's going to be the end of this, this episode. Our squad morale is trash. Our manager rating somehow dropped from 91 to 77 this game. Um, and we are in absolute shambles. But if you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later.